Nearly a year ago, I introduced all of you to a wig retailer that has quickly become one of my favorite human hair wig retailers. Her name is Lydia. She owns May Wigs and she makes incredible human hair wigs that are often more affordable than a lot of the wigs that you find out in the world today. Luxury wigs, I should say. And I am so excited to bring you a brand new cap style from May Wigs because I've heard from many of you, you want to try her wigs so badly, but you didn't think the cap that she has carried up until now would work for you. So today, meet the new wig cap from May Wigs with ear tabs. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. I am partnering with Lydia from May Wigs to bring you this video. She sent me this beautiful Denise uh, so that I could show you this brand new cap. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory right now and then I will get into the review of this piece. My number one goal is to be a helpful resource to my wig sister community. I want to put out good information that will help you to be successful on your wig wearing journey and I want to bring you as many resources as I can because we are all so different and some of us have no financial resources to purchase expensive wigs so I bring you Amazon reviews and some are looking for really luxury human hair wigs and while you have the means to purchase them you want to be careful about where you spend your money so I review everything from Amazon wigs to luxury human hair wigs when Lydia reached out to me about a year ago I had never heard of her and I always do my research and due diligence before I will bring you a company because I never never want you to be taken advantage of I loved her why and I will share my first review in the description below so if you want to go learn a lot more about May Wigs you can certainly look at that other review but I said yes and I brought you Willow now this is Willow beautiful red she actually is in need of a wash, so she's a little disheveled. But the reason I pulled Willow out is because I want to tell you why I said yes to this Up wig. until now, Lydia has carried only lace frontals. This is a 13 by 6 inch lace front wig. 13 inches of lace, and usually on wigs that are a 13 by, 13 by 6, 13 by 4, that is, the lace goes beyond the ears, and generally doesn't have ear tabs. So that you can see no ear tabs and a lot of lace. I do not find 13 inch lace frontals to be terribly beginner friendly. And I typically do not recommend, if you're brand new to wig wearing, starting out with a wig like this. I actually made a video where I talk about lace frontals exclusively and I show you how I cut them back to make them work for me. Because I don't wanna have to glue lace down and it can be very, very hard to get lace like this to lay flat because there's no tension on the lace. One of the benefits of ear tabs is it puts tension on the lace and allows it to lay flat. So if you wanna know more about lace frontals and how I've learned to deal with them, that video will be linked below. But I have heard from some of you who really wanna try May Wigs because I've raved about her. Her hairlines are some of the best hairlines in the wig world and you asked me about the lace frontal and I typically have said, I just don't know if that's the place to start. I did pass that feedback on to Lydia and I will say I have heard from some of you guys who have purchased from Lydia. The reviews have been rave reviews. Anybody who has reached out to me to tell me that they have purchased from May Wigs has been over the moon happy. So lace frontals aren't a problem for everyone, but I also don't think they are for everyone. So I passed that on to Lydia and she went to the drawing board and now she offers a cap style with ear tabs. That's why we're here today, but I wanted to give you that backstory and why I'm so excited to make this video. So before I show you inside this cap and give you all those details, let's take a look at Denise from All Sides. And by the way, she named this after me because I had shared that this is my bio hair. This is exactly, it's a little, it's thicker obviously than my bio hair, but I had my hair in a kind of shoulder length bob and it was a dark brown forever. And I miss, I'm sure you get it, I miss 
the way I used to look. I have so much fun with wigs and I will continue to wear everything I can get my hands on, but there is just something special about getting hair that reminds you of your hair before you lost it. So I'm just so honored that she gave this one that name, but let's take a look at it from all sides. All right, so let's take a, oh, I'm going to show you the lace before I take her off because I just think that's such the star of the show. Lydia does an incredible job with lace. Look at how natural that hairline looks. Look at how invisible those knots are. The lace is super transparent and just everything about the wigs that I have from Lydia makes me so confident because they look just like bio hair. Nobody would ever know you have a wig on with a lace front that incredible. So this is inside the cap. The lace goes all the way to the ear tabs, as you can see, but there are ear tabs. silicone right on the outside to help with grip and security. We have a comb on either side. You can use these to help give your wig security. You can tuck it in. If you have some bio hair on the sides, you can even tuck it into a wig grip. I don't tend to use the combs on these, they are fine. They don't bother me. I don't notice them, but you can use a seam ripper to cut the combs out if you don't like them. There's also a comb at the nape and we've got silicone on the extended nape. For grip, we have silicone strips all throughout the closed wefting. So this cap is really, in my opinion, really premium. The lace is super transparent. It is just wonderful. Everything about this cap. Oh, and hook adjusters. So you can adjust the fit a little bit there with the hook adjusters, and I will talk about fit in a moment. Something else that Lydia includes with all of her wigs is a strap. So you may have noticed this light colored material when I was showing you inside the cap. It's where you can hook the strap in. It has a little hook on it, and you just hook it in. Now with lace frontals, so with 13 inch lace fronts, that strap is pretty important because these fit relatively loosely because there's no tension on it because of the ear tabs and it will help create tension on that lace so that the lace will lay flatter without adhesive. Usually when you see a wig that says it's glueless and it has a 13 inch lace front, it's because it's got those straps and you can see right there. So it has that as well. I don't find the strap to be all that necessary on this wig with the ear tabs because they already will lay flat due to the tension on the ear tabs. But it can add a measure of security so that when you're wearing your wig, it will be a little bit um, held on by that extra tension. So all you do is you hook the strap in, you throw the strap over your head, pull the wig over that strap, and now you're good to go. So a couple of reasons why that strap could be helpful aside from a wig with no ear tabs helping the lace to lay flat would be to create a little bit more tension. So if you have a really flat back of the head, a strap like this can really help since you are kind of putting tension on this back area and the wig can fit a lot better. I don't need this strap for this wig because I will wear a wig grip with it and I'll talk about why in a moment. And so generally I take the strap off, but I wanted to point it out because if you've never tried a wig with a strap, it could be helpful. And I love that these are removable so you can choose to wear it sometimes and not other times and not have to cut it completely out. It just gives you a lot of choice and flexibility. Now, normally in my human hair wig reviews, I include an air dried segment tacked on the end of the video. I wash the wig and air dry it so that you know what you can expect with the type of hair that that wig is made out of. Cause there's lots of different types of hair we'll talk about that in a moment. In this case, I've not done that with this wig yet, but I did do that with both of the other wigs that I've reviewed and she uses all the same type of hair. So I'm confident that this one is going to dry straight and beautiful with no frizz and no curl, just like the others. But the reason I didn't do that is because she is having an incredible sale that ends on June 30th. We're in 2024. It's $100 off. I will put some details in the description. If you're seeing this video 
after that sale has ended, I have a $25 coupon code that I can give you to save $25. But I was in kind of a hurry to get this video made. That's why you will not see an air dried segment on the end. But if you want to see how the hair air dries, I will make sure both of my other reviews are linked below and you can see them there. On the topic of hair type, Lydia uses a, a blend of European and Russian hair. On her website, she says it's a European Russian hair. hair isn't going to have a lot of natural curl and will dry relatively straight. And that's really what I have found with the other wigs that I've had from her. One of the things that makes May wigs so unique, in my opinion, is the choice and the options that are available to you if you decide you want to place an order with them. So on the product page, let's say you go to the website, you're looking at the different wigs that are listed and you pull one up. You will have the ability on the page because there's a bunch of drop down boxes to customize the cap type. You can choose between this one and the lace frontal, the length between 10 inches and 30 inches, and the cap size, petite, small, medium, or large. And there was one other thing, the density, 130%, 150% and 180%. I'm struggling to think of any other human hair wig retailers that I can go to the website on the product page and choose all of those different options. And if you don't see a wig listed that you're that will work for you, Lydia does customs and you can do a consult with her, talk through what it is that you're looking for. And if she believes she can create that for you, you can absolutely place that order with her. So you can order a stock piece on her website, customize a whole bunch of things about that piece, or work with her on a custom. It's incredible. Let's get into specifics about mine now that I've told you about all the choices that you can make. The wig I'm wearing is 14 inches from the crown down. Now Lydia leaves a little bit of extra length on her wigs just in case because we all have different head shapes and sizes and you and I could we both wear the same size but it will fit us differently depending on the shape of our head and all of those things so she airs on the side of slightly longer because you can always have the wig trimmed but if she cuts it and it's shorter than you were expecting it may not you can you can't really do much about it so do keep in mind and I think this is pretty common retailers will often leave a little bit of extra length it does give you some wiggle room and don't be surprised if you get a wig and it was longer than you expected in addition wigs can be length can be measured differently some retailers measure from the crown down some measure from the nape down Lydia has historically measured from the nape down but on her bobs, she measures differently. So my suggestion to you, if you're looking to purchase from Lydia or from anyone, ask them how they take those length measurements. And then you can then measure on your own head from the same place and order the right length for you. So if they're gonna do from the crown down, you would take a tape measure and put it up on the crown and measure it down. If you're going to measure nape down, you can do the same. I will tell you that I measured this one from the crown down with a soft tape measure and I got a little over 15 inches. So that's a great example of how she leaves a little bit of extra length. It gives you some wiggle room. And also as your wig ages, it could start to get some split ends, just like our bio hair. Having it just a little bit longer will give you that room to trim and extend the life of that piece. And as for density, this one is 180 density. The first wig I reviewed, Willow, was 150 density. Then I reviewed Marissa, and that was 130 density. And I did a comparison to help you understand what's impacted by the different densities. On this one, I won't be able to compare to the other two because without the same length, it would be impossible. But I will say that because this is a higher density, it gives me a thickness nearly all the way down. If this were 130, all this down here would be a lot lighter. It would be a little bit more kind of thin looking than it is on this one, all the way around. 
honestly would have thought that this would be overwhelming to me at 180 density. It really is a healthy head of hair, gives me that classic bob look and lays so, so if you're nice. looking for something maybe a little less hair than this, you have other density options. And again, just work with Lydia. She can help you to understand how 130 or 150 or 180 would differ from each other. And then you can make the best decision for you. All right, now let's talk about cap size. My measurements are always down in the description of these videos. So you can compare your measurements to mine and that will help give you a sense of how a wig so might The wig I have on right now is in a medium cap, but I wear a small cap in these lace frontals. I find that they tend to run a lot bigger and because there's no ear tabs and how I like to cut the lace back, a small cap works much better for me. In looking at the measurements for this new cap style, I fell in between on the small and the medium on some of the measurements. So we opted for me to get a medium and I think this was the right choice. Where I think this cap is running a little small is the ear to ear. So where these ear tabs fall on me. If this were too big for me, I would have trouble and I wouldn't have a lot of comfort because these would be too close to my ear and they would be pressing on the back of my ear. They are not doing that. So that tells me that we made the right decision because of the ear to me. This is a gorgeous chocolate brown with almost an, a, an auburn balayage. This is, I would consider this, and I, I don't know the exact number that she used for this. My guess is this is like a four up here. But you can ask if you understand human hair wig color numbers, you can talk with her about what the colors are on this one. If you need more details than you're going to get in this video, but it's a gorgeous cho dark chocolate brown, very rich looking. And then we've got that auburn balayage. Not blonde, it just gets more kind of reddish auburn towards the ends. It's really beautiful, really rich looking. I'll get outside so you can see this in outside light, but I would call this more of a dark chocolate brown. It's warm, it's not ashy. It's really, in my opinion, not red up here, just sort of down here. I'm so excited to bring you another great, great resource. I highly recommend Maywigs. I hope you have a great day. Let's get outside. Good. The sun decided to peek out for just a moment. Maybe it'll go behind the clouds so you can see sun and clouds. I don't know if you can see that slight auburn reddish ombre at the bottom. I noticed it right away when I pulled it out of the box. So fun. Just a dark, rich, rich, chocolatey brown. Lydia does a phenomenal job with color and just everything. I'm so impressed. So now I've shown a blonde, a red, a brunette. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.